For many months now, I have been shilling and extolling the virtues of Svelkit. I've been talking about all the different things I like about it, trying out, building a bunch of different things. And today, I am finally putting my money where my mouth is, and we now have a Svelkit site in production. It's a real site. It's a real business. It's actually live for real. And I want to show you guys what we built, talk about all the content we're going to be making on this going forward, and uh, sort of give you my high-level thoughts on how it was to build and deploy a real world Svelkit app. Not a to-do app, a real world app. So if you've been following the channel for any period of time, you've probably seen me talking about this full stack e-commerce site that I've been working on in Svelkit. It is fully open source. The code base for this entire site that is currently running in production is linked down below. And uh, this is the site itself. I am extremely, extremely happy with how this turned out. Um, it took a long time and a bunch, it was a much, larger scale project than I was initially expecting. The initial kind of plan and blueprint was to just kind of throw something together, make a little e-commerce site, put it out in like a month or so. Uh, this has taken much longer, but I'm very happy with what we sort of put together. This is Sediment Art. It is a site that I put together. It's an e-commerce site. Uh, this is an actual business I put together um, with my uncle and one of my best friends. Uh, we have these like amazing art pieces. My uncle is a photographer. He's gone through and taken all these things. We kind of put them onto these glass frames and stuff. We ran a, through a fulfillment company, did all that. We realized that these are actually like really, really fucking sick. They look amazing. Uh, we have a ton of pictures on the site and I have like one of them. I have a bunch of them here with me. Like this is one of them. Uh, it's hard to do justice what these actually look like over video, but in person they look really amazing. Um, so we figured, hey, let's just make a little site, see if we can sell these, um, do some stuff there. This is going to be a fun exercise for me because we're going to be trying out a bunch of marketing things. Um, obviously, I'm talking about it here. This isn't the like core of what we're doing for the marketing. We're going to be messing around with a bunch of shorts and TikTok stuff and also some Instagram stuff. Um, we wanted to play with that for a while, so that's the core of what we're doing. I might make some videos talking about how that works and how that goes once that's done, but but for right now, we're just putting it out. I have no idea if this will work. Um, I think they're really cool, so that was kind of just the gut feeling we went for. If you guys are interested, it's linked down below. It's live, like I said. We'll get those fulfilled very quickly, um, but yeah, that's sort of the business of what we're doing here. The site itself is, like I said, written in Svelkit. Uh, the design on it is beautiful. Uh, this was actually... I did a lot of the front end work, but the core of it was done by uh, Ryder, who's one of the guys who works on Insider Viz with me, uh, incredibly talented developer. And we built out this gorgeous front end. It is fully mobile responsive. We have a full content manage management system built into this. If I go to my, um, bop, 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 I can log in here, go to the admin page, because this is an admin account. You can see we have like our product management uh, stuff here. I, you know, it's not super organized right now. We're going to make this probably a little bit nicer, but it functions for right now. Um, so all of this is open source and you guys can use this. We're going to have videos coming over the next uh, week or so going through and doing deep dives into the individual pieces and components of the site. So I'm going to have a video on the authentication, on the images, on the uh, hosting, on the Stripe integration, which was actually not nearly as bad as you think. Uh, the data model, all these different things will be done in a deep dive. I might even talk about some of the front end stuff. Uh, I'm really proud of like, if you look at this page, uh, Ryder killed on this one. This one looks so good. We can switch between these two different views. If we click on this guy right here, it pops up a little drop down thing in here. Uh, so all of this is just really, really, really good. Very happy with how this turned out. Uh, definitely check out the site for yourselves and um, yeah. The last thing I think I want to sort of talk about in this video is just how how it's felt to really use Svelte and take it to production. Like I've said in all of these videos going over Svelte and how it feels over the last couple months making videos, doing tutorials and stuff, I've said that Svelte feels like a very natural and intuitive way for doing web stuff. And I stand by that. Having put this in production, the sort of systems for building this make a ton of sense to me. We heavily utilize the file-based routing, we use the layouts everywhere, and just Having it work so that when I go to like, when I go to my collections page, we're firing a load function. That load function is running through our collections. It'll grab all of our collections and then I'll send down all the products. And when we load the page, we have all the stuff right here. It just makes so much sense to me. It's such a clean and efficient way to build stuff. I really love it. I have, uh, I've been thrilled with the experience of building it. Deploying it has been a breeze. We just used Vercel. Uh, all of that works super well. For the images we used Cloudinary, uh, that was a godsend. This would not have fucking worked without using Cloudinary for the images. Uh, fun fact, when we launched this for the first time, the uh, network payload was almost a gigabyte because we had unoptimized homepage images and we had like five of them. So it would load down these like 
200 megabyte images every single time. And the site took like 12 seconds to load. So it sucked. But now that we fixed all that, we've optimized them down to the Cloudinary using their SDK. We get, um, let me show you guys the Lighthouse score here. We run this right here. We'll go ahead and audit it. But our Lighthouse score has been consistently above a 90, which I know that's not like the only benchmark you should use to measure performance or whatever. But uh, as far as, you know, it's still a measurement and this is still really good. Our accessibility is apparently dog shit, but we'll, we'll figure that out. out uh, yeah. We'll figure that out eventually. Um, I think to be honest, Instagram is kind of the culprit for this. We're using their built-in integration down here. Um, just cause I think this looks really cool. I really like this for the home page. We have our home banner here. We have, you know, what the hell is this? Then we have some collections down here. We're going to add more to this over time. We're going to do more rocks and stuff like that. So that's what these pictures actually are. They're literally just like rocks, hyper zoomed in. Um, he did a bunch of really cool stuff with the lighting and the post-processing. I don't fully know how he did all of it. I am not nearly as talented with cameras and stuff, uh, but they look really fucking good. And then we go down here, we have the Instagram page. So this will update as we post more stuff and we put stuff out there. And uh, yeah, this whole... Uh, this whole system just feels really good. Um, I'm pretty proud of this. Definitely go check it out and uh, use Svelte. Svelte has been fantastic for this entire thing. Very happy with it. And like I said, deep dive start uh, tomorrow and I'll see you then.